All right, it is time for a Goodwill Blue Box jewelry unboxing. The only problem is, is this box is supposed to have two five pound sets of jewelry in it and it does not weigh 10 pounds. So uh, let's open this up and see what is inside. Hi, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Depop, and I just made my first sale on Thrilling Vintage. I don't know how this happened, but it did, so I'm super excited. This box is from Gastonia, North Carolina, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be two five-pound jewelry boxes. It does not weigh 10 pounds, so let us see what is in this puppy. Oops, sorry for the shaking and baking, but that's what happens. Okay, it is... Oh, no! This is from... This is not the Goodwill Blue Box. All right. Oh, I'm interested to see. I got some fashion earrings and pins and brooches. We will open those another time, but let me go find my Goodwill Blue Box. Hold on. Okay, we are back with another box. It is from Triad Goodwill in Greensboro, North Carolina. Hopefully this is a Goodwill Blue Box. Oh my gosh, it's much heavier. So it definitely feels like it could hit, ah, that 10 pound mark. Ooh, look, I totally, can you see that? No, I totally did nail stickers for the first time. Super excited, never done them before, highly recommend. My hands, ooh yes, we got two blue boxes. All right, okay. So we got two boxes, we're gonna pull one out and see what is inside. All right. If you are a fan of jewelry boxing, thrifting, and all things reselling, and just kind of having a good old sassy fun time, oh, this one's not in a bag, but it's in a separate box. This is what we look like right now. There we go. Um, interesting. Huh. Well, let's dig in here and see what we can see. Let's see. Do I have room for this? Really? Not so much. I've got my mandrel. Ooh, I forgot a magnet. Well, if I see the need for a magnet, I'll go get one. Let's pull something out of here first. Ooh, that is so cute. Look at that. Let's see, I can't tell what you can see. So let's just angle you a little more. You can probably see all the other boxes. And I have my craft pile over there. This is so cute. It has a chip right there but is still perfectly wearable. Oh my gosh, how cute is that little nugget? So adorable. I think someone would still want that. I would just maybe sand that down a little bit. It's not super sharp, but I wouldn't want anyone like snagging anything there. And I could probably just paint over it with some black. I would still disclose it, but you know. All right, Ooh, okay, earring pile, earring pile. Uh, a little, not really super stretchy uh, chain with a crucifix on it. I mean, bracelet with a crucifix. Most of these I'm giving to my aunt. She makes her own uh, rosaries. So I've been giving her most of those things that I find. This is maybe brass, eh, something. Just a little stretchy bracelet. That'll go into a craft lot. Tell me this, do you, if you buy craft lots, do you like them separated out? I just separated all my craft stuff into necklaces, into bracelets, like bangles, into beaded things. I have separate beads and I have earrings. Do you like things all separate? Ooh, that's a cute little bamboo bracelet. Super funky, little boho. That, if I have something else that goes with it, like a nice leather piece or something, those might like make a cute set. Let me put that in the bracelet pile. Um, do you like your craft lot separated out like that? I don't know, let's see. This is just a little silver tone tarnished bracelet on the inside, but let's see, super cute. Look at that. There we go. I don't know. Like I said, uh, the face down thing is not my forte and I need a better setup, but we're making do with what we have. So thank you so much for being here. All right. That's interesting. I've got some earrings going on over here. Ooh, what is this? This is a super cute little elephant bracelet. Looks like some brass on the inside with some silver tone. I don't know about that, but I know it's very cute. It's very lightweight, not heavy, and I don't see any markings. My loop ran out of light, so it doesn't really work right now because the last time I was filming one of these, I had the light on and I left it on. Just a sweet little bracelet. That'll probably go 
unless I find a couple other things that might make a cute set with it, that'll probably go in a craft lot. Unless it's, you know, 14 karat gold or something. But it looks like it's probably handmade just by the way it's finished. So like I, said, I have like separate bead lots and stretchy beads and just pretty. And I was going to do like the glass beads separate because I think they're special. These are just earrings. I don't know why I'm looking that closely at them. I will test to see if they're magnetic when I get my... So far, this is not the most exciting looking box, I have to say. Just peeking inside there. Uh, another looks like Our Lady Fatima, maybe? No. Something. A Greek symbols. Um, not super stretchy. Probably, again, going to either go into a craft lot or to my aunt who can make something with the beads and the religious or... Oh my goodness! Look at that fabulous... Okay, I'm supposed to be putting that in the earring section. Here's the earring section. Never mind. We'll talk about that later. If we find another one, hold on. We're all tangled. This is definitely a tangly mangly box, probably because it's been uh, sitting in my living room for quite some time. We just had so many boxes. I have all these things filmed that I have not yet showed you. So there's that. Ooh, this is a chunky little piece of something. Let's get this thing out of here first. This is just like a little rope chain, silver tone. Fine. I can probably put something on it if I find a cute pendant. This is so cool. These are probably acrylic, but with foil in them. And they're just fun. Look at how pretty those are. Oh, you can't even see it. There we go. Hold on. Okay, if I'm here, okay, I just have to make sure I know where you can see. I'm a little crowded, like I said, because I have other photography things going on here, but that's all right. This is where I take my photos for things for sale. So this is very pretty. It is in good condition. The clasp is good. It's a lobster claw, just fashion jewelry, nothing super exciting as far as that goes, but it's actually super gorgeous. I love the the foil in there and there's two different colors of foil there's this is more of a coppery and that's more of a silvery i don't know if you can see that but just in case you can all right i will sell that one because it's party oh you what are you come to me you fancy little bracelet you all of the things winter i used to play there were only a couple of kids in my neighborhood i grew up in felony flats and we used to go to the neighbor's driveway behind my friend's houses avery Angel angela and shauna uh, where the three, Avery was my age and Angela was older, Sean was younger. And we used to play Winter Olympics. And my name was always Crystal Winters and I was the ice skating champion. So there you go. This is, the stretch is not good, unfortunately, because that is just beautiful. I mean, it's fine. I, oh, I don't know. Like it easily goes on and it looks good on. I don't see a lot of gaps. Maybe. Let me know what you sell that one. It's just so pretty. And with the ice, uh, the snowflakes... I think that's cute. Right now it's going into craft, but I may change my mind. I just went, like I said, I just went through all my craft stuff that I have, separated everything out, and I found something. This is really cool. These are fun, fun beads, but it is obviously way stretched out. I wonder, like, look at the layered. Look at this one. It's super fun rainbow. That could easily be restrung. This was, I don't even know if that had stretched to begin with. I mean, it must have, but it has none now. That looks vintage, maybe. I might restring that. I don't know. Or I might just put in a craft lot. Super cool, though. Those are fun beads. I did order some... What is it? Simul oh, my gosh. <gasps> the sunset is gorgeous. I wish you could see it. Hold on. Let's show you. Well, you don't probably... I don't know if you care, but we'll look. Look out there. Look. It's just so pretty. Okay. Now let's come back to the mess. So this is the one we're working with. This is where I'm putting things I'm going to photograph. Well, I'm not sure about this. And then I have my craft pile over there that I need to add to my others. Like I said, I've sorted them all out uh, and I made them, hold on, this is awkward. Let's get you back in here. Do, do, do. There we go. Like you made it a close up of my palm. I've sorted them all out. So they are, ooh, that's pretty. Just a little fashion jewelry. That feels like glass, so could be acrylic. Uh, made in China. Let's see, there you go. Now you can see it. I can totally do this. That will get better eventually. That is really pretty. And I think definitely sellable. It is new on a card, but I don't know if I'd sell it on the card. I might. Uh, just probably put it. I have uh, jewelry that 
like as a little tarnish but still super cool or just simple chains or something in uh like if they're $15 and under three for $30 and then I'd probably if someone asked I'd probably do like for something shipping uh, on Poshmark that's just a nice little gold bangle so I'll put that in my bangle set I'm figuring I'm gonna make some sets of bangles because bangles are in right now like the thin little ones are interestingly enough in oh there's a there's a heart on the inside of that cutout do you see that that is a cutout heart what is that for there's one on either side no other markings, but kind of a Celtic maybe, or what does that look like? Not even Celtic, Aztec, but what are these little hearts? Oh, I'm so interested in those. I wonder if that's, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to test it and get the magnet and do all the things. Those are some earrings, we'll put those there. Oh, well, I guess I can show you because they're here. Uh, we've got earrings and it looks like these are just some plastic. I was going to see if the back had any markings on it. Uh, just some plastic hoops, vintage, but I don't know. Those are probably sellable because they're a cute color after I clean them up because they're a little yucky. They're a little yucky, I'm just saying. Oh, this is a pretty little kind of friendship bracelet-y thing with this style closure. I don't like that, but these beads are so cool. I'm probably just going to put that in a bead lot, but I am going to do like a friendship bracelet. I have a bunch of new ones, especially some Pura Vida ones uh, that I got in a set, and I'm just going to do a lot of them, so I might put that in that lot just because it's really cool. I don't know about that. I'll put that in. I'm thinking about a pile. Uh, some black. Those are in good condition. Just a black stretchy bead bracelet. Mm, possibly vintage. It's not the clear plastic thread through there, but uh, those are in good shape, really cute. So just easy on, easy off. Easy off, makes oven cleaning easier. Ooh, look at this little thing. It's so cute, you can't see it. There we go, oh my gosh, that's so awkward. If you're still watching this, seriously, so this, these are green crystals maybe they've got that rainbow kind of quality in there it looks like it opens how do we open do you open I'm lying you don't open you just look like you should so it's got holes on this side I feel like it should open somehow but I don't see that it does it doesn't open but it's so cute it's got no mark it's a little elephant oh my gosh that's the cutest thing ever I gotta find a chain for that it is not missing any stones if you see anything you like, by the way, and it's not already listed on Poshmark, you can always send me an email, uh, rainydayshopper at protonmail.com. I'll put that on the screen. It's also always down below in the description. And if you see something, just give me the video that you saw it in and the time. Ooh, that looks like sterling. No, it's just uh, dirt. <laughs> no marking. Put that back over there. Okay. Um, oh, we have a lot of NC. NC. I don't know what that is, but it's dirty and very tarnished, so that is going to go into a craft lot. Uh, you can always just send me an email and I can list things for you. We can, do, if you want to do a little lot, uh, we can figure that. Oh my gosh, all the cute Christmassy things, angels, trees. <gasps> okay, I'll put that in the earring pile. What is this goodness? Oh my gosh, I might have to keep this. What is this? This is all, there's more than all the earrings. Okay, hold on. Let me get these. These are, su okay, you know these are mine. I'm sorry. But unless someone really, really wants them and you let me know. Um, these are the cutest little Jingle Bell Christmas. Okay, where are you at? There we go. Jingle Bell Christmas. And they actually jingle. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I don't see any marking. It says Merry Christmas around the bottom. Um... Da, da, da. Do I see any other things? I don't see anything else right now. Like I said, my loop is, I don't see anything that looks like it could be markings. <gasps> Those are so adorable and in really good shape. Hold on. Let me double check that. Yes, we have all of our little green uh, crystally things and our little red enamel bow. And we're super cute. Okay, those might have to be mine. There's another Christmas tree over here. We're getting, there's angel. Okay, we'll get to those. But look at this pretty tree as well. That looks maybe pewter. Let's see, there we go. Seriously, people, you can't take me anywhere. Okay, so this one looks maybe pewter. I don't see any markings on it. 
it is just a charming Christmas tree. I don't know if this chain went with it, but it might because this is silver. Eh, it's a good weight for it, so I guess it's all right. It's just a snake chain. It might not be pewter. Anyway, it's a really cute little Christmas tree. Apparently, we have a Christmas theme box coming up here, and I am not mad about that. That I will sell. I have a whole bunch of other Christmas, like handmade Christmas pins. I'm so excited that I got in a box. I did not open for you guys because there are just too many boxes to open for the people. All the people, especially because I don't know how many people like the jewelry. All right, have courage and be kind. It's a message bracelet. Just in case you don't know how to be a good human, this will remind you, which is super cute, actually. I'm sure someone will want this. This is Mantra Band. So it's going to give you a mantra so you can wear it and remind yourself to have courage and be kind. It's a sweet little cuff. I will probably put it in a lot with something else unless anyone wants it. Do, do, do. Ew, we are sassy. This is just plastic. Ooh, plastic. There we go. Let's see that. Uh, it is dirty. And if I'm putting it in a craft lot, I'm not going to super... I'm not going to really clean it up. Uh, those are fun. I mean, decent stretch, actually. Someone might want that. I might sell that. What did, uh, would you sell that? I might sell that. I'll clean it up and see what I think. That can go in the cleany, cleany pile. This is going to take forever, by the way. Ooh, these are nice wood. Be are those wood? No, those are plastic. Or acrylic? Oh, yeah. I ordered some stuff to test for some Bakelite, just to see. These are really nice beads. I think they're just plastic because they have a mold line, but they're really pretty. I'll put those in my beaded pile and maybe put them in a lot, unless someone wants them. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, this is fun. It's got little cell phone. It's got the makeup brush. It says pink. Oh, I wonder if that is Victoria's Secret. The only thing that has... Uh, Sign is the brush that says pink. I don't think anyone really wants that. Do you? I don't know. I don't think so. And the stretch isn't good, so that's going to go into the craft lot. The definitive craft lot. Right, there are so many tangles here. Let's see if I can get this out. Come on now. You can, you can just join me here at the table. You can do it. Sorry. All right, let's get this piece out. There we go. Okay, okay. We've got some just gold plastic. Those will probably go in a lot. Make a set. Like those together would actually look really cute. So I might do something like that with some of those. Okay. Let's see. You are an earring. Let's get you over there. You are very thin. Probably not a bangle, but we'll just put you there in case you are. We'll figure that out later. Okay. Uh, this is... Looks a little bit like a topaz, but it is... Dirty. And I don't see any marks. See some scratching for sure. Let's see up here. This looks like someone might have made it. I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty. But I'll have to see if it'll clean up decently. But that's kind of cool. And I'll test it to see if it's magnetic and all the things. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Tangles, all the tangles, tiptoe through the tangles. All right, so uh, Texas Gal Treasures sing has been singing uh, Little House is Made of Ticky Tack, and my mama always used to sing that song. So I think that we could be twins. I think we're the same age, actually. So she doesn't know it, but we're best friends now. Not really. <laughs> But she's fab. If you don't watch her channel, thank you, Kat, by the way, for telling me about Texas Scale Treasures. Uh, I can't get that untangled right now, so let's see if I can get this untangled. We got an earring in here. Let's get you out of there. Oh, my goodness. We're not even halfway through the box, so this might take a while. I hope you got your snacks. You're working on some stuff. This is beautiful. It looks vintage to me or vintage want to be, but I think vintage, hold on, get out of there, stop, you're all tangled. Okay, there we go. I'll have to untie that now. Awkward. Okay, let's look at this. All right. There we go. This, let's just do that a little better. There we go, I think. This is beautiful. So we've got green, possibly glass in there. 
This looks very vintage to me. I could be wrong. And again, it could be a vintage replica, but this, the way the stone is attached back here and the cord, it doesn't say anything. So it could easily, oh, look at that. Like, look at the loop in the, the ring clasp. Huh. That. Anyway, it is gorgeous and I will sell it. I will double check. I'll look up, see if I see anything about it. I don't see any markings on it anywhere. And these, they sell them like things like this at, you know, any finding store. So you can get little beads like that. So it may not be vintage, but I would totally sell that even with all the carnishy spots on it and just disclose it and love it. And if no one else loves it, I will keep it. Oh, this is Christmas. Hold on. Here we go. This is one of those little slide bracelet thingies. And we've got a present. We've got Santa's sleigh. We've got a tree. We've got a stocking. We got a wreath, we got a poinsettia or poinsettia if you're in Oregon like I am. We've got Noel, we've got a jingle bell, and we've got a box clasp or bar clasp. Let's see, that is super cool. Very good condition, except the back looks like it has some wear. I don't see, ooh, hold on. Nope, that's not a mark. I don't see any markings on it. And it's not, you know, it's definitely not a high end piece. But it's got all its stones. It does have some wear on the clasp, which I find is really to be expected. I don't know. I think that's still sellable because it's Christmas and super cute. There we go. What do you think? Let me know about this one. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll put that in my, I will sell that pile. And again, I look at everything and clean it and then double check. And that's why when I went through the craft lot I had, I pulled out like three or four pieces. One of them was marked gold fill that I'd missed. One was marked sterling. And I might have gotten those pieces before I got my magnet. So, oh, good. We have that one. That is so cute. Okay, these are beads. And there, it is a very long strand of faux. Are you glass? Maybe glass beads. They are not hematite, though they have that color. They're not that weight and not quite the gray. So this is just a really cool strand of beads. I think that's sellable. I mean, that's like four feet. I mean, two feet doubled, you know. Maybe not. Maybe not four feet. Three and a half. It's a very pretty strand. All right, we got a big old bracelet here. Hold on. Oh, I forgot this thing over here. It's tangled and I left it alone. Look at this with the animal print. Golden Girls Are Us. Oh, that has no stretch, sadly. Oh, that's really bummer because it's cool and I don't see any markings. Just some fashion jewelry. It's like acrylic over. Mm, no, st I mean, literally like, uh, I just don't want stretch. There we go. Hold that one out. Okay. That'll go into craft. So yeah, let me know, especially, okay. Oh, those are nice. Um, little faux pearl. I'm going to do a pearl lot too. Pearls are in. I might do like a lot of the pearl stretch bracelets. I have a bunch and I'll see if I can, these are, these two are the same color. Some are different colors. They wouldn't put different colors together, but I will put those in a lot by themselves. I mean, a little group, a little bundle. Oh my gosh. Look at the cute. Those are so 70s and they're just no stretch. They're not that vintage, but they're they're vintage beads, but they're going to go into a bead lot because they have no stretch on them. Okay, let's see if I can get this one untangled now. I left it alone for a while so we can think about the air of its ways. And we'll see if it's going to behave. I don't think it's going to be that much worth it because it's just one of those little bubble necklaces. And then this gold thing. I don't know which of this is. Don't. You're not attached. Come along. You can behave yourself. All right. Do, do, do. So yeah, this will be a long video. <laughs> Bring your snacks. See what's in the box. So far, no gold precious metals or anything. This is stuck right there. Come on, we can get off. I mean, get off. Detach yourself, I say, sir. All right, well, it's not going to detach. So we'll just look at it. Uh, it is just a beige bubble necklace. No brand. Let's see. Let me... Oh, that helps. You were zoomed in so far. I was like, what is going on? Sorry. I should reshoot the whole video. Probably not going to, but I should. All right, so we got this. It seems to be in good shape. Uh, someone might want it. This is just a little gold. This looks like it's broken. No, it's not. 
it has, it's two strands, so it goes like this. No brand on that. I don't know if I'll sell that. It's a, uh, got some scratches. I'll put this over there and see if I can get that detangled later. We have a little bit of a lucky business with Chinese food, a four leaf clover, a little cloisonne, a little horseshoe, a <laughs> fortune cookie, little green and AE. That's probably American Eagle. But that is really cute. And actually the first piece of jewelry I sold when I started listing all this stuff was an American Eagle piece. So that seems to be in good condition. It's really cute. Fun little charm bracelet, definitely sellable. Not for much. It might go in the three for $30 bun. Not sure yet, I'll have to look it up. But I don't really, I, I kind of do my own thing. Sometimes, sometimes I pay attention. Okay, those two are stuck together, stop. Ooh, this is fun. Just a little fashion piece with an earring attached. Let's get the earring out. But I love the green on this. So green can be hard to find. That might be glass. Are you glass or plastic? It's not cold. I think it's just plastic. But nice silver chain. Not a lot of wear to the... Oh, that's really pretty. That will sit so nicely on the neck. And I just like this green a lot. Very nice. Do, do, do. All right, we're getting here. These are metal, just a pale pink. Pink is on trend for spring. I mean, when is pink not on trend for spring, but it's very much on trend for spring right now. So I think those are definitely sellable. For someone who'd like a little more of a statement, they have, I'll see, they have a little bit, ooh, is that a crack? These are vintage, probably 80s. I look like some I had in high school. Ouch. All right, I will see if I can clean those up. And if there are little cracks, I will just put them in a craft lot. But right now they go in my cleaning pile. Do, do, do. Earrings, let's see if I can get some more. Okay. Oh, we have another, aha, uh -huh. here is our Lady Fatima. I thought that. That last one wasn't her, just on beads. Uh, and again, that'll probably go to my aunt, unless anyone has a need for some beads with religious iconography on them, uh, because I have quite a few. And like I said, ooh, what are you? Come to me, sweet cheeks. Oh, you can't, you, okay, you're a single earring. I'll put you over here. Hopefully there'll be another. And again, I have that other box, so I'll save anything. Ooh, you're cute too. Uh, get these earrings out of here. I'll save anything and hopefully if they're not in this box, they'll be there. This is a just a sweet little green and clear little Aurora Borealis, little crystal bracelet. Ooh, what do we say? Did we say something? No, I, we did not say anything. I don't know. That one's probably, unless I find something that it would look cute with as a layered piece, Probably a craft lot. I don't know. I gotta figure these things out. Like I said, I went through the craft lot. Ooh, this is a sweet little charm bracelet. Hold on. Let's see. It's a magnetic one. Okay, there we go. And I don't see a brand, but I do see we've got a nautical and a little nautical theme going on, but then we got a little cherub baby here giving a prayer. So we've got the shell. We've got our little angel baby. We've got a dolphin, super cute, a lighthouse, a turtle, and then a ring of dolphins. This is so cute. It is in very good condition. I don't see anywhere. It's got this, oh, there's a, hmm, weird. Hold on. Besides the magnet, which is now stuck to that, the magnet is stuck on, I want, oh, because it has a lobster claw, but someone added the magnet. Interesting. Hold on. It's sticking to itself. So let me get those back together. There we go. So it looks like someone added the magnet just so they could get it on and off easier. That's a decent size too. Like I could almost get it. I could get it on my wrist. Like if I wanted to without opening it. I'd have to squish my hand though. I don't see any marks on any of the charms. But I will look more closely. That's really cute. Uh, this is just some really cool silver chain. It doesn't have any clasps or anything. So that will definitely go in a craft lot. I can talk another one of those very thin hoops probably came off of something this is really cool chain it would make a beautiful necklace 
Like there's, see there's dangle, like how the dangle chain, where are we at? There we are. All right, see, and it, oh, very pretty, but that'll go on a craft lot because it doesn't have any clasps or anything like that. Okay, let's see, this is what we pulled out next. Ooh, oh my gosh, we got one. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the pile because I don't see another one, but that goes with that necklace. Oh my gosh, it's a set. I love a set. Oh, that looks vintage. Hold on, we'll put that there. You are a little bracelet, you little sassy thing. Let's see. See, these hold up pretty well. I mean, and actually this is not a very dirty lot. I've, I've pulled some out that have just been black. My fingers after, oh, that's an earring, a single. Hold on, go back over there. All right, let's look. Uh, just a plastic bangle. And this is a gold tone tennis bracelet. Just a sweet, dainty little thing. And I don't think that it has any markings. Let's open it up and see if there are any in there. Wait, which side are we on? That side. Oh. I'm always afraid I'm gonna break these. There we go. No, and I don't, it's not real gold or anything. There's a little bit of loss of color on the clasp, but let's see, did we, no, we have, that is very pretty. I think that's definitely sellable. It would be so pretty on, obviously someone, who has a tan and remembers to use lotion. But look, my nails! Okay, so there at least we have that going for us, right? Oh, I pulled this out. I have to go with this next. I wanted to get in that box. This wasn't that interesting. This is actually, oh, that's an earring. I thought that was a necklace. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Vintage. This is a vintage clip on. Hold on. That's a really cool, funky earring. Again, pink clip on, but I don't have a match and I'll look for that later. Got a little chain. Oh, that's not a little chain. That is a very long chain. Hold on. There we go. Did you ever used to do those finger weaving things? Like where you do the, you put your hands through and you do like the cat's eye and the cat's, oh, the cat's cradle, all those things. Let's see. This is unmarked. Just a very, very long, nice gold chain. Doesn't have any loss of color that I am noticing. It's hard to tell with the lights on. So that I will probably find a cool pendant and put on it or sell it as is. We've got an earring on here, a poop brown earring. Who wants that? I don't know, someone might. All right, we've got a plastic white. Oh, there we go. Hold on, let me get these all dangling in the right direction. Ha! Watch your danglers, there we go. That's actually pretty cool. The chain looks like it's supposed to be bronze-ish because that's the color it is, so. Those are just white plastic, but that's kind of cool. And for spring, how cute would that be with a tan and someone having that on? Ooh, someone would look all sassy and saucy. A little skirt action going on. All right, we will, uh, that needs to go on my cleaner. Do, do, do. We have got a necklace with nothing. MSC. Who is MSC? I don't know. MSC. Let's see. MSC. And this looks like it's broken. No, wait. Well, because this is clasped to that, this looks like it's supposed to go on there. I can fix that, hold on. I could probably fix that right now, but you probably don't care about it, but that goes back in there. I don't see any markings other than the MSC that tell me anything about it, but I will fix that. And that's just a nice little serpentine. I think that one's serpentine necklace, Do do do. So I will find a cute pendant to go on that. I have a number that need a home. Uh, okay, this is very fun leather through a gold tone. I don't know why this is ever a thing. Like, what is that? Does it even, does it, I guess it would go around twice. Like, why, 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 why? I don't get, no, craft, goodbye. I don't want to see that again. You offend me, craft. It's all... But someone could rewrap it or do something with it. You are a single earring. I don't want to talk to you. Ooh, this is fun and sassy. Look at that. And it's on a, like a stretch watch band. Ooh, I've seen these before. Hold on. This one... Oh, this one doesn't have anything on the inside. The inside is a little dirty. Hold on. Let's see how that looks and fits. Mm, cute. I think if I clean that up... Like the inside may have a little bit of marking on it, but it's still really cute. And I think that's super fun. Someone would love that. I'll put that in my sell that sucker pile. All right. Change the name apparently. It's now got the sell that sucker pile name. 
All right, it's actually a box, but there's more than one box, just saying. I have some really cool pieces I pulled out. I'm gonna do a, a video where I show you some of the really cool pieces I found and some fakes that I found and talk to you about how I know they're fakes and how I figured some stuff out. Because I've got one that could have been worth thousands, but I'm pretty sure it's a fake. That is a cute bracelet, but does anyone wear that? Maybe, I don't know. I'll put that in my bracelet, decide what to do with pile. Ooh, another clip. Shiny gold, pretty good stretch. That'll go in my beaded bracelets. I'll make a little bundle, something that will look cute with. This is, ew, I mean, it's fine. Someone made it probably. It's chain and stuff, but it's dirty and it's gonna go in a craft lot. The bead at the end is nice. I might just cut that off and put it in a bead lot. Another one of these. Huh. Those don't really go together. Well, they might if I had like a different color between them. Huh. There we go. Oh, we have two of those. Hold on. We have to look at these fabulous things because I just pulled out the other one. This doesn't necessarily feel like the best box I've ever seen, but this, I mean, look at those. They are exquisitely, fabulously, oh my gosh, over the top. They don't have any markings because they don't. They are clip-ons. They are outstanding. And they, I mean, just they resemble something, some part of the female anatomy. I'm just saying, I mean, you know, I, I'm going to put those over there. We'll just talk about that later, but you know, I can't help. It's just was there right in front of me. These things were all females mostly and everyone has nipples. So there you go. I said the word, these are plastic, the kind of fab and huge I don't know. I might sell those. I might put them in a craft lot, but I think they're sellable. Not for very much, but they're kind of fun. Sassy. My favorite word. One of my favorite words. Okay. My mom and I used to play the game Heyday. We had a really good neighborhood. I have a shell lot. I'll just put that in. We had a really good neighborhood going. And one of our people who joined the neighborhood was from India and he was a fabulous, just a great gentleman. He was in, going into the service and he was an engineer and he really, he had to go out on a boat for like two years. And these are fabulous. Look at those faux pearl drops, gold, lead and nickel free. Um, those are just like, Oh, is that a little scratch? Hold on. They might have a scratch. And if that's a scratch where the finish is coming off, that's bad. Nope, they got to go into craft. Unfortunately, there's a place where the finish is coming off right there. It won't show and it doesn't look like anything else is coming off. Uh, there are a couple spots. If you would like those, let me know. We can do a little deal. But otherwise, those are going into craft because they have oh, the scratches. Anyway, so he's going onto a boat and he met a young lady on the boat. So he was asking mom and I advice and he just described her and he was so in love with her you know you're all talking in the game or whatever this was mom couldn't really leave her chair for a long time so we played the game this was when I was living in a different place um so it helped like it gave us connection I played it also when we were when I was in China so we played it for a good number of years because mom couldn't really get out so it gave her something to do she ran the whole neighborhood she spent hundreds of dollars on the game by the way Whew, she had to quit cold turkey because seriously um but anyway this is a fun three strand, three different types of chain strand. Uh, that's good. It has a little wear to the clasp, but not bad. That's very cute. Likely vintage. Uh, so he told her about this girl and asked how he could meet the girl. So he just said, well, go up to, go up to her, say hello. And I always talk about being sassy. I'm like, oh my gosh, she sounds super sassy. Sounds so fun. You've just got to introduce yourself and be brave. Well, so he goes up and introduces himself and I can't remember what he said. And he might've written her a note. Oh, look, Ashlyn. <gasps> okay. I had a student who was named Ashlyn. <laughs> I wish she would love that. I bet. Uh, they would love that. I think she's changed to gender neutral. Oh, I wonder if I can get a hold of her, give that to her. Anyway, I don't know if she likes Mickey or Minnie, but that's cute. Let's put that to the side. Anyway, so he goes up and tells her that she's sassy. And I don't remember the whole conversation. She was so offended because in India, being sassy is not a good thing, right? So then he came back and he was so heartbroken and he told us this. And we were like, you've got to apologize and just say that there were crazy Americans online giving you bad advice. And... 
so he did and interestingly enough they got engaged and they got married and it was so sweet and he used to like i think his mom even came and talked to my mom on the game and they might have called anyway he was a sweetheart i don't think he'll ever see this video but oh, why am I, we're gonna look at the earrings later i don't want to get my hopes up there are a lot of really bad bangles in here not good bangles earring we're getting close to the end of the box and it looks like a lot of earrings and let's see Ooh, and some more christmas hold on okay oh look at this fun christmas okay we're gonna put that over there this has santa we've got all the christmas bracelets i have got christmas covered here people maybe instead of our ugly christmas sweater we'll do some christmas jewelry giveaway this year I don't know, I'm kind of covered. This is super cute. Let's see, how's our stretch? I just roll these on, so I don't really stretch. For these that I'm not sure about the stretch, I'll just roll them on and off. And this fits beautifully, no gaps, so it's fine for a larger wrist, because I have one of those. So I just do the roll on and off, and that helps preserve the elastic and something that I'm iffy about. That is so cute. Okay, put that over there. But yeah, tell me, should we do, should we do a Christmas, a Christmas? This is new with tags. It is Gantz. It's from Chictaugua, New York. I don't know if it actually is. I'm going to have to do that, but it has a little B on it. And it looks like it might be a box. No, maybe that, and it's a ribbon. I don't know what this is. I don't know if anyone wants it. I'll look it up. I'll use the code in eBay, which I can't do now because I'm on my phone filming, so I can't look it up, but I'll look that up and see if it's anything. Otherwise, it will go into craft, and it's kind of cool. All right. Earrings, earrings, earrings. More Christmas. You are more Christmas. Oh, you're cute. You have candy canes. I love candy canes. They're one of my favorite holiday decor pieces. They're just so happy. I don't know. Ooh, and there's a hair. I don't want the hair. Yucky. Ew. Icky poo. Icky, icky. Okay. Let's turn you around so people can see you if they can. We've got some enamel that does have some wear. So we've got a little stocking. Let's do stocking, bead, tree, bead, bead, candy cane, Santa Claus, present, bead. No name, but that is really cute. I might sell, like, would you do a, a, a bracelet and necklace combo? Throw some earrings in so we can get all the Christmas covered? I mean, as long as Christmas is going to throw up all over us, let's do it for real here. I would, however, wear this like with a black <laughs> shirt just to cut down on the Christmas. That's me, though. I mean, if you want to go full on ham for Christmas, you do this. Or turkey. Oh, my gosh. Look at these. <gasps> Those are so OK. Is there another one? Hold on. I can't. We can't look at it yet because there's not. I don't know. Look at there's another one of these. All right. Who wants a Christmas bracelet? I feel like we're doing I feel like we're doing a Christmas jewelry giveaway this year i feel like that's what we're doing instead of a christmas sweater this one mm, the stretch is really bad on though i'm afraid oh let's try it because it was gonna break i'd rather it break on me uh, it will go on all right i i'm worried about this one though so hmm i hate to give that away too because i don't want something i give away to break who wants to fix up a really cute little tacky as all heck but i love it i mean seriously that is just like christmas christmas all crazy uh we are losing some silver tone oh no that side this side's fine you see that but this side looks like boogers it looks bad i guess that one's probably a craft lot and unless someone wants it anyone want an early christmas present who doesn't mind that it's not very stretchy if you roll it on and off it should be cute but it does have some loss of color on at least a couple of the pieces maybe i'll just put it through the cleaner i might put that in the cleaner and see what happens and it might lose more color anyway let me know what you think if you want that color oh this is very cute beads that's a fun bracelet mm. good shape good stretch i would probably put that in a lot with something maybe something black or i don't know what no Hmm, I'd have to think about that. That's pretty. I might keep that. I like it. I don't know how much, like, it's not really, like, people are going, out, gosh, I want a red stretchy beaded bracelet. I must have, ooh, there's a, take, a tag there. Just a little silver chain. Silver tone, not really, but that's going to be great to add a pendant on. What's an earring? You are new. You have a tag. What do we have? Which one of you has a tag? There's two things, three things? No. Something here is broken. 
You're an earring. Hold on. You're a stocking. Oh, but you don't. I don't know if we have any matches. Okay. Ooh. This is nine ninety seven. It is gold. Where is it from? Oh, Charming Charlie. Oh, this one. Okay, good. I was like, this one feels like it's better. I want you to come here. You come to me. This is Charming Charlie, and I don't know what it's supposed to be at all. I think a bracelet. Oh, yeah, because you can tighten it this. I was like, what is this shenanigan? Okay, that's not bad. Actually, that's kind of cool. Now that I've figured it out, I feel like it's okay. Like, I might put that in my three for 30. That should be probably in, like, a three for $15 lot. I don't know if I'm going to list any of those. It's probably going to craft. I don't really care about listing that. It's cool, though. I actually kind of like it. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't wear gold. So what am I talking about? I'm not going to keep it. I'll keep that jump ring, though. Uh, this is just a cool vintage look. I don't know that it is vintage. I don't think so. Uh, metal. Gold tone. Very long. Fun layering piece for someone who is not really into boring and dainty, but wants something a little more sassafras but still understated. Unlike me, who's not gonna mind the tacky throwing up all over. Okay, we have a large and in charge. Hmm. Crystal, we got the rainbows. Hmm. Rhinestone. It unfortunately has a, it's very dirty back here. I will put it in the cleaning machine and see what happens. Otherwise it will probably be, ooh, what are you? We've got all the things. Oh my gosh. Okay, people, the amount of Christmas earrings that are coming up. Let me just, oh, hold on. There's some things that aren't earrings here, so let's get to those first. Eh, unhand me. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, we have USA, music note, cherry, hand, all the smiley things. I have another one of these that's marked on the back, like made in Italy. It's super tiny. But all of the pieces are made in Italy. That's kind of fun. I have to look up what these things are. Because I don't really... There's a dice. There's a star. Oh, the star is missing a rhinestone. Horseshoe lipstick. BCD. BCD? I don't know what BCD is. Cherries. A little smiley face. Alright, I don't know what that is. But it is missing a rhinestone here. I'll look it up and see before I decide, but ooh, look at this sassy little number. A rose gold in tone, but absolutely no stretch. I mean, I could get that on. Again, I'm gonna slide instead of pull, and usually they go on without breaking. I did break one that was pretty cool earlier, but I figure I gotta try it because that's really nice, but it's gonna go into craft. This is shell and some glass pieces, but it is very loose. I mean, like just, it has no, doesn't look bad though, but it has no, yeah, eh, eh, eh. kind of pretty going into craft. Might go into glass bead section. Okay. I've got all these really cheap, thin bangles. These are not the bangles I'm going to be making lots of. Maybe I'll look them up. See if there's like this kind of thing that I've missed. I don't think so. I think that these, most of these, let's see, these two I'll keep out. There's some larger silver ones I'll keep out. But all these little white things uh, and the excess hair bonus hair in honor of texas gal treasures i mean those look kind of cool those will look cool on actually uh, maybe there's chipped paint no those can just go into craft i do have some bangles like i said i've sorted all my bangles out and i'm going to be making some lots okay earrings we got i don't see anything like silver or gold in here like i said i don't have any I don't have my magnet, but I really don't think I need it unless some of these earrings turn out to be something. Look at this. Okay. Okay. I tell you, Christmas is just thrown up all over. This is best. Okay, best. Um, it's like, is that painted? Is it gold foil? Is it duct tape? It just looks awkward. But this is so cute. It's the snowman. All right, I'll sell that. Uh, hopefully that's a dirt. Yeah, that's dirt, not a chip. Okay. Look at it. It's so cute. That's the snowman. I need to find him a necklace. There are a couple over there. I'll put him on one. Medium, maybe. Not too short. Tie tack? I mean, tie clip? I got a lot of men's 
like tie clips and stuff. They weren't very good. I mean, I'll probably sell them, but not for much. I'll add that to it. It has no markings. Okay, let's just dump out all the earrings here and take a look, see at these. Sorry about the noise. Let's see what we got. So this is definitely not the best Goodwill blue box I've gotten, but it's not, I mean, there's definitely sellable things in it. That will go into a bead lot. That's a cool bead. Ah! Okay, SpongeBob charm, best box ever. Who doesn't need a SpongeBob on your charm bracelet? I'll put that over there. There are some little tiny pearl earrings in the box that I can't get out right now because they're down in a crack. So I'll leave them there for now. Okay, you. Where I'm going to put yeah, this box. This, I love this box for sorting. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this box. Okay, there's another one in there too. So I got a bead for a bead pile. I got these two gold tone. This one is missing its hook, and this hook doesn't look like it belonged to it in the first place. Eh. I'll check those out. All right, let's separate some things here. Ooh, a, another tie bar no name on it but a nice bar where are you at there we are okay clip black I had these earrings in high school these are nice they have a little flat edge to those those are probably I could sell those as an 80s pair do 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 oh do we have the earring okay I should Ooh, look at the cute little dove. It, it could be a bluebird. It had a big sticker on the back with hair attached into it. Ew, yuck. I'll see if I can clean that up. Okay, let's put our little, make a little pile of things here. Christmas, Christmas. A little, that's cute. If I can't find the earring to it doesn't have a hook, it would be a cute little Oh, that's a cute bell. Ooh, diamonds. Ooh, there's a ring. Oh, what are we? Probably nothing real. Oh, wait, there's words. I can't see what the words say. Can you see what the words say down in there? Probably not. Right there. Something plate. So, gold plate which isn't a lot. This is a big ring. Like that's probably a man's. Cause my, let's get, I have a man roll. Let's use it. Haven't had to use it all day today. Let's just take a look. That is an 11. It is a little scratched up. I don't know. I mean, maybe not. It has all these. Okay. So it's got a blue, then like a, an aqua, an aqua or topaz. Then I think, Stones have been replaced. The same blue here. Then a, uh, that's actually a, a garnet color. It looks black. I don't. I don't know about this. I will. I, I will see. I have some things I need to take to a jeweler's and see if they will buy them or tell me about them. I have a pair. I you haven't seen the video yet, so I'm not going to tell you. Never mind. I will. There will be. There's an unboxing you haven't seen. All right. I'm going to separate. I'm going to pause this and separate these all because otherwise I'll just, this is going to take forever. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. So interestingly enough, we have these two that don't match. I will be interested to see if we have any in the other box. I have matches to all of my Christmas jewels. I'm super excited. These are very pretty. And I think those are 925. Yeah. The uh, hooks are marked 925. Those are very pretty beads. Glass. So pretty. Uh, let's see. Put you. I need. Ooh, I'll put you down in that box. Sell you. Uh, this goes with that necklace, I think. But it, yeah, it does. But there's not another one. So I will be interested to look in that box. We already looked at the cheap plastic, but I need to clean those. Uh, I am super sad. This one is marked Roman, and it is just gorgeous. 
it does not have a match. So I'm hoping that will come in the next box. I'm going to have to open that one right now. You know that? I'm, I'm just going to have to do it. These are super cute. I'm probably going to do a Christmas little lot. These are super cute and sellable. I don't know. They that might be something metal. I'll have to ooh, look at markings if I can see any. But I can't right now. Okay, interestingly enough, we have three of these. So just in case you have a third ear, we have got you covered. It looks like there may have been supposed to be something in there. They kind of look like Brighton. They aren't marked. I'm going to put those through my cleaner. I'm going to put most of these through the cleaner. I'm just separating things out that need cleaned right away. These are vintage, clip-on, super cute. Um, no, don't have that one. This one is kind of icky, but kind of cool. But unless I find another one, I'm not super sad. Uh, singles. These are like yellow enamel vintage looking do they have a name no i don't think so those are really cool and uh they have some wear but i think i'm just gonna put those in the cleaner and those will be good don't have the other one of this one i do have these little silver bells there are two of them they are beautiful. I might have two bells. I might, that might be selfish. I, okay, so which bell do I keep here, people? Do I keep the little silver bells? Or do I keep the one with the red bow on top? You gotta let me know. Because right now, I'm, I'm leaning towards both. Just saying. Oh, this was a necklace we didn't even look at. Hold on. This is a necklace. <laughs> it's not marked. There's nothing branded in here. And only, like, I just, this is too dirty. I'll clean it and see if it's good. Okay, these are beautiful. Unfortunately, she is missing stones. So here she has a little green stone and an empty space. The green stone's missing here. I think someone would still buy those, don't you? Because she is beautiful. They're clip-ons. I don't know. Mary, let me know if you want them. Someone let me know if you want them. Ow! I just pinched myself. Awkward. But she is just so sweet. I mean, look at her. But she is missing stones. And I don't have any in those colors to fix her. Uh, this is single, but it's really cool. I'm hoping I can find that one. I won't tell you all my singles because that would just take too long. So there's a lot of singles in this one. And I'm hoping some of them are in the next box. Some of them I don't care about. I really don't. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, these look like little citrine hearts on a hoop. Uh, probably not real citrine, just little faux, but I don't know. That's the thing. I have to sell $300 in jewelry before I could buy a presidium tester. So right now I have a little diamond tester, but I don't trust it because it told me something was diamond that I'm pretty sure is not. So I need to go to the jewelers. Okay, those I can sell. Look, we have the earrings to go with that necklace. <gasps> Isn't that fabulous? So cute. Still no markings that I see. I will inspect everything a little more carefully, but those are sellable. Look at the little stockings, the little jester stockings with the little faux pearls. We've got both of those. Okay, fabulous. This one, I want the, look, it says love and the O is a cheap plastic rose, but it's so cool. I want the other one of that. Okay, we have these bells. Okay, these are gorgeous. They actually kind of, actually, they actually kind of look like angels too, but they're bells. Anyway, I love those. I apparently have a thing for bells right now. Who knew? Okay, I don't have you. I don't have you. I've got this odd flip-flop charm. I'm gonna go and craft. Unless someone you I don't have. I don't have you. I don't have you. I don't have you. You're cool. Uh, these are silver tone with some black. Very not sure about those. I think they're very heavy. I'm gonna put those in craft. Look, we have the wreaths that say Merry Christmas. They're just little glistening stone. They, they Are they glass? No, I've never seen a stone that actually glitters like that. In per but who knows? I haven't seen all the stones in the world. Uh, these are cute little wood. Very boho. These are super sassy little stripey dangly green and blue things. How cute for spring. And they're in pretty rough shape. I'm afraid those are going to have to go into a craft unless someone wants them. But those should go in craft. What is that that I just... What is it? Oh, that ring. I put that ring in there. Okay. Things, I, I'm like, what is that in there? I shouldn't look. Little stockings. These are adorable. 
Christmas things, I don't really care if they have a little flaws on them. I, I don't. I will keep them and wear them if no one wants to buy them. And then these sweet little angels with yellow dresses on. These are probably the cheapest made of those. None of them have any markings. Okay, I'm super sad. Look at this art blast because it's probably not Murano. But there's only one of those. So I'm going to put that there and hope that there's more. These are just little silver things. They're dirty, yucky poo-poo. This is really cute boho kind of earring, but not too. We got these two vintage gold clip-ons. I actually really like the shape of those. We already talked about the da da na Look, they got sassy tassels. That's a whole different kind of sassy tassel. Never mind, putting those away. This is a little glass. I don't have the other one. Two green, vintage, actually really cute. Metal. Good color. These, eh. Unless they're silver of some sort, but they are, nope, they're all this color. Those can go to craft. Do people do things with those? I feel like sometimes these are all singles. All right, this is a single, but it is gorgeous. What are you? No markings. Oh, no, I'll put that in the single pile. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Okay, that was off key, but anyway. All right, that did it. That was our five dollar, not five dollar, a five pound Goodwill mystery box from Goodwill Blue Box. I've got some, I got, I need a bead pile out here. Got a couple of cool beads. I've got these. All right. Let me know what you think of this and let me know down below how you like to buy your craft jewelry lots. Do you like them separated or do you like a little bit of everything? Like I said, I've got necklaces. I've got stretchy beaded things. I've got bangle bracelets. I've got cuff bracelets. I've got pearls separated. I've got shells separated out. I don't know. I sorted everything. It took me a long time. I could not lift the box. That's how heavy it was. Anyway, I've got a lot of craft jewelry and some more to add from tonight. So, ooh, look at these. Those are not, they don't stretch, but they're so gorgeous. These, oh my gosh, these are stone, by the way. Beautiful. These are plastic. Anyway, that's from another thing. You haven't seen it. I think I filmed it. Thank you so much for joining. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would so appreciate it. I really love when you come spend some time, leave me some comments, chat with me down below because I, yeah, I live out in the country and it's been a weird five years. So we might talk about that coming up. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like if you did. If you don't, give it a dislike. Totally cool with that. Also, look, my nails are still kind of there. I, they're, they're stickers. I'm probably gonna have to take them off. We're gonna do one more box and I will see you later for that one which for you will probably be a couple weeks, but for me, it's going to be right now because I want to see if I can find those earrings. See you later, alligators. I hope you're out there making the world a better place because you are the awesome, amazing human that you are. 